Hi, I'm John, and welcome to Storm King Expedition. For those of you who may not have seen one of my previous episodes in the Hudson Valley, this trip actually took place before that one. The reason I also mention this is because the focus of my channel is to expose people to destinations in the Northeast US that are not too far from many of our great metro areas. Today, we're headed to Montauk, New York, about 110 miles or 175 kilometers east of New York City. As you can see right now, things aren't moving too well. And I just wanted to call out that if you're headed to Montauk, you'd be crazy to expect to get there without traffic. But I promise you this, it's worth the trip. As I arrive in Montauk, I'm reminded of how beautiful this area of Eastern Long Island is. But I'm also reminded of its great history. The indigenous people of Montauk were the Montauk tribe, part of a larger Algonquin-speaking Native American group that settled in this area. They thrived in the area relying on fishing, hunting, and agriculture. European settlers arrived in the 17th century, bringing change to the region. In the 17th century, Montauk became part of the East Hampton colony established by English colonists. The area's natural resources, including its abundant fishing grounds, made it a crucial hub for trade. During the American Revolutionary War, Montauk played a strategic role. The British at the time occupied most of Long Island, and Montauk served as a base for the American forces, providing a vantage point for monitoring British naval activities in the Atlantic Ocean. In the 19th century, Montauk's fishing industry flourished. The construction of the Montauk Lighthouse in 1796 marked a significant development, guiding ships safely along the treacherous coastal waters. The lighthouse stands as a symbol of Montauk's maritime heritage and is a popular tourist attraction today, which we will visit tomorrow. In the late 19th and 20th century, Montauk's popularity as a vacation destination grew. The area evolved into a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors seeking outdoor activities, beaches, and the natural beauty. Montauk's charm, combined with its rich history, has made it a beloved destination for both residents and tourists. Its beaches, cultural events, and outdoor recreational opportunities make it a sought-after destination, showcasing a harmonious blend of past and present. As I arrive at Hither Hill State Park, I am reminded of how much I love this place. I've been coming here for many years. Hither Hills offers a wide range of recreational activities for visitors covering over 1,755 acres. This state park is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts with over two miles of beautiful sandy ocean beaches. Nature lovers and those seeking an escape from the hustle and bustle of city life will find over 30 miles or 48 kilometers of hiking trails. The Walking Dunes Trail in particular showcases the unique geological formations of shifting sand dunes, providing a captivating experience for nature lovers. The park features 176 campsites along with a tent-only section along a cliff that features 23 sites. The campgrounds are well equipped, many of which are situated close to the beach, allowing campers to enjoy the sound of the ocean waves as they drift off to sleep. I should mention that the local town laws are very specific as it relates to campfires. I would recommend that you check out what these rules are prior to your arrival. I personally found out after arrival that I needed my own fire pit. So if you do have a fire pit, please bring it yourself because they're not offered anywhere on the grounds. Unfortunately, pets are not allowed at Hither Hill State Park. Although, when speaking to a park ranger, they did say that they are allowed in the campgrounds. I would advise, if you're going to bring a pet, that you confirm that with the park office before arrival. I should caution that all of these sites' reservations are taken many months in advance, and in my opinion, the fall season during weekdays are a great time to visit. The park shoreline also offers excellent opportunities for fishing with anglers trying their luck at catching a variety of saltwater species. The park's diverse ecosystem supports a wide array of plants and animal species contributing to the region's ecological diversity. Overall, Heather Hill State Park is a wonderful natural gem on Long Island, offering a host of recreational activities and educational opportunities. 
Its pristine beaches, scenic trails, and camping facilities make it a valuable resource for those looking to head to the ocean, escape the city, and enjoy some time by the sea. As the day came to an end, I settled into a warm campfire and the sound of the ocean just over my shoulder. It was a great day. Although the drive was long, it was definitely worth it. I was looking forward to tomorrow. I would be getting up early for a sunrise and what I would hope would be a fog-free start to the day. This time of year, you've got about a 50% chance of fog in the morning for a sunrise at this point of Montauk. Hopefully we would get the best of that. Good night.
Wow, what more can you ask for? What a beautiful start to the day. I was blessed out being one of the most beautiful sunrises I had ever seen. This is a great place to visit for a bite to eat at Gossman's Dock and Shops or to catch a fishing charter, which I'm now wishing that I had planned myself. Needless to say, there are many great fishing opportunities here in Montauk, which attract anglers seeking striped bass, fluke, and more. Montauk County Park is a beautiful place to camp on the beach, but unfortunately, it's for enclosed trailers only, so sorry, no tent camping. Fishing is a central part of Montauk's identity, drawing enthusiasts to its abundant waters, whether for charter boats or surf casting from the shores. Montauk Village exudes a quaint vibe offering eclectic shops, eateries, and a glimpse into the town's maritime history. The beaches with their pristine sands and rolling waves are a haven for sunbathers, surfers, and nature lovers, providing a serene escape and stunning Atlantic panoramas. After this quick little visit around the village, I'm going to head back to Heather Hill State Park for one last night at my campsite. But for now, this is where I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this quick trip and would consider a like and subscribe. And before I go, just a reminder to you, when is your next trip? You should start planning it now because planning it is half the fun. Thank you.